Now it's time for the squat video. I'm going to start with the assisted squat, which is actually a highly underrated exercise. It is all about having a counterbalance to particularly your behind as you squat down. So there's a few ways you can assist your own squat. You can do it, I'm going to pretend this is a doorway. So I could pretend right here. You can use a chair, you can use a TRX, like a pulley system. You could use a rubber band. You can use a partner um, if you guys held hands. All right, I'll show you the doorway and the chair to start with. So when you're doing squats, it's important to make sure your knees act like a gun sight. So when you squat down, your knees should track over your foot and it shouldn't deviate like this. So when you're squatting down, you should be able to look straight over your knee and see that the knee is tracking above the foot. So never, we want, never do we want to have the knees caving in or bowing out too much like you're riding a horse. So here's my doorway. I do my assisted squat. Come down to thighs about parallel to the ground, and then walk back up. Use your legs more as you get stronger. Here it is with the chair. Just enough for counterbalance. The hardest part is at the bottom because you want to fall backwards. So use it just at the hard part. Come up to finished hips. Don't crank out a bunch of squats finishing here. Then I come all the way to standing again. We spend a lot of time sitting, so we don't need to add more tension to that posture there. So next is the goblet squat. This involves a weight. You can do it with a dumbbell. You can do it with a kettlebell. All the same kind of improvised weights. For the goblet squat, virtually the same as the assisted squat. You're just a little more confident now. You're going to keep that weight out away from you to act as a counterbalance. So you'll start with it up in the back. You're going to have your hands on the horns. You're going to push it away as you squat down. At the bottom, you want to have your elbows just touch the insides of your knees. You don't want to sink down. You want to keep your posture engaged. Here's the side. I never let my back round. I don't do this. I am here. Last. It's a Cossack squat. This one is pretty darn advanced, and I don't recommend doing it with weights until you've done it a lot. So the Cossack squat can be done with assistance tools, and it can also be done with just a weight or something on the ground to grab onto. So you're going to take a wide stance, you're going to start limbering up, and come down to the squat on one side at a time. This can be done behind your computer chair, like this. So let's say you've just gotten up from your game, you know, spread out your feet. Make this like a meditation. You're doing Tai Chi, you're getting lower and lower. You're using it as you get to where you want to be. The hamstring stretch at the bottom gets harder and harder the lower you go, so you really have to warm up. Okay, those are the squats. Hey, this is just a quick follow-up video on the bodyweight squat. You can treat it as kind of a beginner or intermediate exercise, so as you get more advanced at doing assisted squats, you can maybe start to do these, um, and you can also use them in place of goblet squats if you want to just stick to body weight. So when you do body weight squats, you're going to stand up tall, finish your hips, you're going to push your hands up as you squat down for a counterbalance. Here's from the side.
And you can also do it with your feet closer together. Just demonstrate a few of these. So there's the squats. <laughs>